Good morning, everyone. This is Father Kent. I was uh, on my way on my day off today and uh, happened to stop in to say hi to Father, Father Alex, and, and he uh, asked me if I could give uh, a talk on Corpus Christi, which is coming up this weekend. And so I, I figured I'd uh, bring in a little bit of what we had already in the celebrations that we've had so far before Corpus Christi. And one of them was uh, the, on the Pentecost, which was the coming of the Holy Spirit. And that's very important for us that we need to remember that we need to treat, we need to look at the Holy Spirit not as a thing, but as a person. And so we need to have that personal relationship with the, with the Holy Spirit that He has been sent into our hearts as a friend and a guide and a light. And so we need to remember that. And then last weekend, we certainly had a very beautiful celebration for uh, celebrating the Holy Trinity. And again, we see that uh, God is not a God of a thing or, or something like that but rather God is one God in three persons, in, in unity of, of that great unity of His divinity. And so we need to remember there too, that we are, when we approach Him, we approach all three persons of the Trinity. And especially now too, as we come to the celebration of the Eucharist, the celebration of the body and blood of Christ, uh, we certainly now have two another opportunity to look more deeply into what it means when we come to the Eucharistic celebration. That our Lord Jesus Christ is present, and if He is present, body, blood, soul, and divinity, we know that in that presence, body, blood, soul, and divinity, that God's divinity is never separated one from another. And therefore, when we receive Jesus in the Holy Eucharist, we also have a gift of the Father and the Spirit at the same time. So as we approach Him this weekend, as we have in certain places, we will have either a big a procession of the Blessed Sacrament or a small procession of the Blessed Sacrament in time for adoration and for uh, confessions even that we uh, respect Him in the way that He needs to be respected, that He may enter into our hearts and into our souls to give us that strength that we need, especially in our time in this world today. May God bless you and may the presence of Christ in the Eucharist be always your consolation and your peace. Amen.